I am going to show you how to replace this Flutter default white splash screen by a custom splash screen using the native splash screen package. If this is something that you would like to learn, keep watching. When your app launches, there may be some delay between when the user starts the app and when the first frame of the app is actually painted on the screen. By default, during this time, Flutter displays a white splash screen. So today, we will implement the native splash screen package that will automatically generate iOS, Android, and web native code for customizing the splash screen. As you can see here, this is a Flutter favorite package with a lot of likes, and it supports dark mode, full screen, and some platform specific options. If you prefer to change the splash screen yourself without using a package, you can check this video. The link will be in the description. The first thing we need is to install this package in our project. For that, we will first head to this Installing tab and copy this line of code. Then, we will go back to our project in VS Code, open the pulse.yaml and paste it under the dev dependencies. We paste it under the dev dependencies because we will mainly use this package as a command line tool. Now that we've installed the Flutter native splash package, we can start configuring it. As you can see here, we have several parameters that we can use to customize our splash screen. We will do our best to cover them all in this video. Let's start with those three. Even though the Flutter native splash package allows you to generate splash screens for iOS, Android, and web, if for a reason you don't want to generate the splash screen for one platform, you can set it to false. By default, they are set to true. For example, if we set the web to false, when we execute the create command, the package will not generate a splash screen for the web version of the app. More on that later. You can use the color parameter to give a solid background color to the splash screen. The background image is also used to set the background, but using an image instead of a solid color. But one thing that is important is that you must at least set one of those two parameters to start generating your splash screens. Otherwise, you will receive an error like this one. Also, you should use only one of those two parameters to set the splash screen background. On the right, you will receive this error. For now, let's start with the color parameter. So we will comment out the background image. To apply those changes and generate a new splash screen, as you may have noticed, we need to run this command flutter pub run flutter native splash create. As you can see here, it is updating the splash screen only for iOS and Android, but not for the web since we set it to false here. Let's run the app. We should see a yellow screen when the app launches. As you can see, we have replaced the white screen with a yellow screen. If instead of a solid color, you would prefer a gradient or an image in the background, you can use the background image parameter. It takes a path to a PNG image file. For that, you will need to add your image somewhere in your project hierarchy. In my case, I have put them in the asset folder. Since right now we want to use the background image, we need to comment out the color. Again, to apply those changes, we need to regenerate the new splash screen using the same command we used earlier. Flutter pub run flutter native splash create. The image will be stretched to the size of the device screen. Let's run the app on an Android device this time. We should see a yellow gradient background this time. Now. Let's add an image over the background. For that, we will use this image parameter. It also takes a path to a PNG file. I have already added the image in the assets folder. Let's enable the web this time. Let's run this command again to apply the changes. Since we set web to true, it is updating the splash screen for the web now. Let's run the app. As you can see, the image that we provided appeared at the center of the screen. In fact, it will be centered for all the three platforms. This is because of those three parameters, Android Gravity, iOS Content Mode, and Web Image Mode. They are by default set to center. If for some reason you would prefer the image to appear at the bottom of the screen, on Android, you can replace the center here by bottom. Let's test it. For more information about the different values that those parameters can take, please refer to this section of the package documentation. As expected, the image appears at the bottom of the screen. 
If you're finding value from this video, please give us a like, consider it your way to support the channel, and if it is your first time here, subscribe. Now, if you want to support Doc Mode, the native splash screen package has those three parameters. As you can imagine, those parameters auto specify the background and image you want to use when the device is in dark mode. If they are not specified, the app will use those parameters. Keep in mind that if the image dark parameter is set, color dark or background image dark must be specified. Otherwise, you will receive an error like this one. And the rule for the color and background image still applies here for color dark and background image dark. You cannot set them both at the same time. Now, let's uncomment the dark color and the dark image. This is our dark image in the assets folder. Let's regenerate the splash screen and test it on the iPhone. As you can see, nothing has changed. It has the same splash screen that we had before. Let's put the simulator in dark mode and we launch the app. As you can see, we now have a slightly different image, which is the dark image in the asset folder, and a dark yellow in the background, which is this color we specified here. One thing you may have noticed is the notification bar is visible when you first see the splash screen. To hide the notification bar, we can use this full screen parameter and set it to true. But especially for iOS, you must remember to show it back by adding this code in the Flutter app in the main method. As you may have heard, in Android 12, the Google team has made some changes in the way the splash screen is created. So to make your app future-proof, you can enable support for Android 12 by setting Android 12 parameter to true. If for any reason you will want to roll back to the default white splash screen, use this command flutter pub run flutter native splash remove. As you can see here, it will restore the flutter default white splash screen. Now that we've covered all the parameters of the native splash screen package, you can go and start implementing it in your apps. To learn another approach with detailed explanation on how to change the splash screen in your Flutter app, check this video. And to learn how to publish your app to Play Store and App Store, check this playlist. Since you made it so far, please give us a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for future content.